at four, we remain under a fire weather warning today. Another busy day for firefighters across the region. This map shows you where brush fires have broken out today so far, including five communities in Rhode Island and one in Attleboro as well. And some towns are even dealing with multiple fires with crews literally jumping from one fire to another. Officials continue stressing that all it takes is one ember to spark disaster in dry and windy conditions like this. Our Sheena Loshudo is live in Coventry, where crews are actively battling a scene off Tyoke Avenue. Sheena? Well, right now we're by the McDonald's here in Coventry and the fire was in this wooded area that's right behind me. This is just one of three scenes that we've been to today where we watch firefighters go from one fire to another. Viewer video captures the view from across Tyoke Avenue as crews in Coventry fight yet another brush fire today. Chief Frank Brown says it looks like this one started by the road and then worked its way deep into the woods. It's a uh, heavy brush uh, surrounded by swamps and streams and it keeps jumping over them. Uh, as of right now, we got the fire under control, but we're going to be here for quite a while yeah, mopping it up. While they don't know what caused this fire in windy, dry conditions like this, the smoke and flames move quick. When I left my house at 8 o'clock this morning and the wind was blowing pretty hard and the humidity is down, uh, it was definitely a recipe for disaster today, and it seems like that's what's going on in uh, Kent County. He says that because this is the second time we've seen him in a few hours. The first time, the brush fire on Division Road in West Greenwich. Several surrounding departments were called in to tackle another wooded area. You saw me in West Greenwich, uh, about a three acre brush fire up there, and now we're dealing with this one here in Coventry, probably on the tune of five or six acres. Then, as he was called to a fire in Coventry, crews in West Greenwich had a second brush fire. This is video from Congdon Mill Road. The elevated temperature plus the low humidity just makes these fires want to run. Um, firefighters are working hard today uh, and, and we're concerned with them. We're going to try to keep them hydrated and rotate them out. Uh, right now, I mean, they're our most valuable asset. And we got to take care of them. And as the fire chief mentioned, the risk here is just how fast the flames can spread. He says here in Coventry, one structure did get a little bit of damage from that wooded area that caught on fire, but fire crews were able to knock that fire out right away. Now, we have been seeing this for days now. Just yesterday, I interviewed Chief Brown about the dangers of brush fires, especially in these dry, windy conditions. So everyone is watching that forecast. And Tony, we have been feeling it ourselves today. The wind is really, really strong. You're right, Sheena. It's been a big factor of anything, perhaps even busier today than compared to yesterday. But we've had gusts uh, out of the northwest, which is a very dry wind direction, 25, 30 miles per hour. I actually saw a wind gust briefly to 40 miles per hour. And you know, the problem or the, the challenges that the firefighters have is that sometimes you can put the fire out above ground, but it can sometimes smolder below ground where several hours later it can reignite. And that's why they've got to soak the ground very well as you can sometimes get these smolders underneath the soil within the root system. And the fact that we don't have any rain to kind of drench this dry brush, uh, making it more of a problem. As the chief had talked about, you know, these very low humidities, this northwest wind dry driving in like desert like air. These humidities are quite low and that just sort of uh, exaggerates the situation as far as the brush fires. The fire weather warning or what we call a red flag warning pretty much for the entire area shaded in red. The wind, the low humidity and the dry brush and these winds now still gusting anywhere from 25, 30 miles per hour. This is file video. This is not ongoing right now. This is out west, but to give you an idea of how fast these flames can spread in some of the strong winds. So a lot of just common sense stuff that we've been talking about now for the last several days. No outdoor burning, fire pits, barbecues, burning of yard refuse, you know, careful discarding cigarettes and things like that. Temperatures remain unusually warm. It's well into the 70s. Look at the coastline. There's no sea breeze. It's very rare this time of year to get it this warm along the south shore when you're surrounded by cold ocean. But quiet weather this evening, breezy and dry with temperatures in the 60s. It only gets warmer. In fact, record-breaking temperatures potentially tomorrow and Friday and still no rain. So a lot to cover. All the details coming up in a little bit.